sweet and savory eats. I'm going to do cereal in the afternoon. I got rice checks, organic valley, grass, grass milk, grass fed cow milk, 2%. And then I got sweet in low packet. So, here we go. Okay, I've done this combination before, so this is the Thursday, 15 August 2024 edition. I'm Tim Corley Leonard, Chief of her of Seattle. And this is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonard, at least currently. I'm doing one serving, which is 40 grams. Let me see what, double check them. Yeah, 40 grams. Or one and one third cup. Here's the bowl. And then I'm going to do half a cup of 2% milk. I did my cleaning upstairs today so this table has just been cleaned so I could eat off of it if I drop something I'm not aspiring to drop something all right this is what it looks like and I'm gonna take and get each of the pieces damp and then kind of let it soak and soften I, I do use a plastic spoon or have been, I noticed that one of my teeth, when I was using a metal spoon, I had a tendency of hitting the tooth with the metal spoon. So I was like, you know what? Metal versus tooth, I, I don't want that to be a battle. So I decided that I would try out plastic spoons. And so I've been doing this for, for a little bit of time with plastic spoons. Yes, I'm intently looking at the rice checks soaking. And then I do for the sweet and low packet, I do about half, spread it over the top, eat it, and then that layer, and then eat the next layer. So, yeah. About half the packet. And in I delve. With my teeth. Sometimes it's like, I think it's hurting my teeth, but it's not because I'll go and I'll press on my tooth and stuff like that. And it's not the tooth that's the problem. Sometimes it's like the gums around the teeth. And sometimes it's like I'm biting down and I press the food against the gums or I'm just biting down weird. There's one area growing up my sister and I both had not like perfect teeth, but I had like, you know, triple the problem she had to have. So it was one area of growing up where she excelled relative to me. We both had braces and stuff. I have one sibling, an older older sister, approximately three years older, and she was two grades ahead in school. All right, so I ate my top layer. Now I'm gonna spread some more. One, one bite's gonna have a wallop of sweetener. 
my grandpa Roger liked sweet and low. He had diabetes. And so sweet and low is one that I grew up with. And I have personally, it was like middle school to high school, that range, I decided to clean up, so to speak, and not use sugar. Instead, use sweeteners without sugar in it. Since diabetes runs in the family. I still do eat foods with sugar in it. It's just... This is a doable one. And honey is nice and everything, but it's not... No sugar. So I'm kind of cleaning up my diet. I also decided to heed the warnings from doctors of, you know, it does run in the family. This kind of thing. Oh, I think it was, was it eating the one? Either way. Him and one of his sisters got diabetes. So, there's just a little bit of, I was like, I would prefer not to. <sighs> 60 out of 10. That was really good today. Thank you for joining me. You learned a little bit about the why I do sweet and low instead of sugar or syrup or honey. I do syrup in the morning with Eggos, but can't do that all the time with my background. There we go. Or could, but I choose not to risk it. There we go.